It won't begin until 2021, but tonight time is running out for you to have a say in one of the largest highway construction projects in Southeast Texas history. That's right. The Texas Department of Transportation says the half billion dollar project will impact both Interstate 10 and Highway 90. KFDM's Angel San Juan joins us live tonight from just outside of our studios, one of the spots where I-10 and 69 cross. And Angel, what's the goal of this project? Well, Tiffany, basically to reduce traffic and increase safety. Now, working along the stretch of Interstate 10, we are quite familiar with traffic becoming a bottleneck. Well, this proposed project should improve that. But before things get better, they might get worse. Republic Chicken is quickly becoming one of the most popular eateries along Restaurant Row on Interstate 10 in Beaumont. But owner John Swift worries the restaurant's momentum could come to a screeching halt when construction starts on I-10. We're depending on all of the public to come to us, and if you impede that, we've got problems. Um, I've seen on a number of occasions over the, just my professional life and, and just as a consumer where a, a given street is shut down for some period of time, and restaurants in particular, they're going to suffer. So we're, we're here to learn tonight. Swift joined other business owners and Beaumont residents at this gathering at the Beaumont Civic Center Tuesday evening. The Texas Department of Transportation hosted the event to inform the public about a proposed half a billion dollar project to reconstruct the I-10 and US-69 interchanges. The northern I-10 US-69 interchange, that's the exit that you would take if you're going towards Vider or even Louisiana. And then the southern I-10 US-69 interchange, that's if you're going to go towards um, Lamar, if you're taking Cardinal Drive, that area. TxDOT's plans include widening and elevating stretches of the highways, connecting service roads, and relocating entrance and exit ramps. In the long run, this is going to be a safer and less congested area, and that's what we're going for with this project. But getting there could take five years. I'm a patient person. Yes, patient. Monroe Spencer is a lifelong Beaumont resident and is looking forward to whatever relief TxDOT can provide. Because sometimes it's hard to get from here to there without having to wait a long time. The informational meeting generated a large turnout. TxDOT spokesperson Sarah Dupre says that's good because the agency wants as much input from the public as possible. What citizens saw here are just preliminary plans. Nothing is finalized. We will have to acquire some right-of-way with this project. We do not know how much. That will all depend on the final schematic. So right now that's why we're asking for their feedback as well. We want the businesses feedback. We want the drivers feedback. We want the residents feedback. So that's why it's so important at this stage in the project that we get all of that. And it's exactly why Swift is making sure his voice is heard. Certainly we're for the growth. It's going to help the area. Um, but it also could hurt some of us, and so we want to just see what, what really life is going to look like in 2021 when they start the construction. Now, if you did not get a chance to attend tonight's forum, don't worry. You still have time to give TxDOT your feedback. You have until May 1st. That's the deadline. That's when the input time will be cut off, but remember all you have to do to learn how to provide that input is log on to TxDOT's website. That address is txdot.gov. We're live in Beaumont, Angel San Juan, 6 News tonight.